Hey, it's Alicia from MobilityMastery.com and today I want to talk to you about the ugly side of cortisone injections that not a lot of people know about and if you've ever considered getting one or have had one, this is important information to be aware of. Now, before I go any further, I have to say I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, I'm giving my personal opinion and research and I'm sharing what I have learned about cortisone injections um, through my own research online um, and hearing from clients who've had cortisone injections as well as those who have not. Most people are going to get a cortisone injection because there's maybe been a diagnosis of inflammation in the joint, so it could be something like plantar fasciitis or tendonitis or um, gout or bursitis, right, of the hip potentially, or um, maybe even a tendon or ligament issue in the shoulder, uh, concern about rotator cuff pain, right, you might get one in the shoulder. Um, and they're meant supposedly to relieve the pain and reduce the inflammation. Now I take issue with this on every possible level. Number one, because I don't believe that inflammation or pain is happening due to a lack of corticosteroids and anesthesia at the site of pain. So usually what's in the shot, right, is a corticosteroid and a local anesthetic. So they're going to anesthetize the tissue um, at the site of injection. So of course you're not gonna feel pain you know, immediately after. And what most people report to me, um, if they come into my office and they've had a cortisone injection, is they usually say one of a few things. Well, it worked for like a day, and then the pain came back. Or they say, well, it worked for a month, and then my doctor wanted me to do another one, so I did another one, and that one only worked for a couple days, and then we tried another one, and that didn't work at all. So those are kind of the stories I hear frequently. Now, some people, I just have to admit, some people say, hey, it worked great got the shot in my shoulder, um, and the pain went away. But then they're in my office for neck pain or wrist pain or something else that is more than likely, in my opinion, um, a direct result of not taking care of the root problem. So your brain can detect, okay, you got the shot in the shoulder, you don't want that pain signal in your shoulder anymore, so I'm gonna give it to you in another body part and hope you listen this time. So it's not addressing the root cause for one thing. So it's a definitely, in my opinion, a band-aid solution. However, the biggest issue I take with them are the potential risks and side effects that most of the time my clients aren't even aware of, which makes me assume, and I have to assume because I wasn't in the doctor's office with them, that their doctor didn't actually tell them the potential side effects, which in my opinion is negligence. Um, I think if there's a risk of anything, you should tell someone so they have full buy-in, right? That it's their choice to take that risk. So if you're considering getting a cortisone injection, please do your research so that you know the risk you're taking and you're doing it willingly and consciously. That's mainly what I'm filming this video for. Um, and then if you do the research and you decide you don't wanna do it, you're also making that choice for yourself instead of simply having someone else tell you um, what you should do and you not taking that responsibility into your own hands of what happens to your body. So um, I'm gonna grab my computer here and I'm gonna go to the Mayo Clinic website. So I like to get the most credible you know, data or um, opinions, I guess, uh, on something like this, right? I'm not just gonna go to um, you know, any website, right, and give you the potential list of side effects because I want it to be as credible as possible. So this, these are the known listed uh, side effects, potential side effects of a cortisone injection according to the Mayo Clinic website. Um, complications of cortisone shots can include joint infection, nerve damage, thinning of skin and soft tissue around the injection site, temporary flare of pain and inflammation in the joint. Fascinating, right? Because you're supposed to be getting this shot to reduce inflammation, but it could create inflammation and cause more pain. Um, tendon weakening or rupture. 
So it has a profound effect on the connective tissue, the fascia specifically, and it can weaken it, thin it, and make it more brittle and prone to um, rupture. That's awesome. Um, thinning of nearby bone or osteoporosis. It says osteoporosis there. Whitening or lightening of the skin around the injection site. Eh, not a bad risk, I guess. Um, death of nearby bone. That sounds great. Um, temporary increase in blood sugar. And there are other side effects that you can find elsewhere on the web that seem like a potential possibility given what it can do to um, connective tissue specifically. So, um, yeah. So we've got death of tissue, potentially death of nearby bone, osteoarthritis, inflammation, increase in pain, nerve damage. Um, and personally, I just want you guys to know, I, no matter what pain I ever have in my life, I will never, ever, ever, ever get a cortisone, cortisone injection. That's because, in my opinion, it would do more good to ice something if you want to numb the pain, right? That's a nice temporary anesthetic in a way. Um, but my whole thing, the reason I'm on YouTube and the reason I have a private practice is I want to find the root cause, whether it's for myself or my clients, and address the pain at the root level instead of just putting band-aids on it or getting them temporarily out of pain but having it come back and then need those band-aids in order to keep living their lives. So um, that's basically it. And I just want you guys to do the research yourself. So you heard it from me, but I want you to actually do the Googling yourself, go to the credible websites. Um, so you're hearing it straight from the horse's mouth, Mayo Clinic or you know whatever medical establishment you trust to list the actual side effects. Um, or maybe try to Google one of the images of the actual insert um, and Decide for yourself. I'm empowering you to make that decision for yourself. Don't just trust the doctors, and I'm sorry, I know they probably have good intentions, and I'm not saying doctors are evil or they're doing this to hurt you. They are trying to help you, I believe that, on some level. Um, but I want you to have all the information you need to make that decision for yourself. So I hope this hasn't been too scary, and I guess to wrap up, I want to address those of you that have had a cortisone injection. Um, I definitely think there can be lingering potential effects from cortisone injections that can be confusing because you don't know necessarily whether the pain you're currently feeling or the inflammation you're feeling is due to one of those side effects or the pain you initially had um, that made you go get the cortisone injection in the first place or you know, maybe a new pain due to um, the injection. I personally love to hold possibility, like I believe in the human body, I believe in its ability to heal from just about anything, including cortisone injections, so I always come from that standpoint with my clients, and I will exhaust every possibility for natural routes of healing at the root level before concluding that it's simply damage from the cortisone injection that you can't undo. So I recommend that you adopt that philosophy for yourself and do everything you can do to address the pain if you're in pain right now at the root level with fascial release, with looking at imbalances, with um, looking at potential inflammatory causes for joint pain or nerve pain, stuff like that, which definitely can be due to um, fascial restriction, not allowing blood to get in there. So if you open up those fascial channels and you get blood to the area where you're feeling pain, even if it was the site of the cortisone injection, I believe your body has the potential to use that blood to heal itself at the cellular level. Um, so I don't think you're doomed. <laughs> I just want to say that. Um, all right. I hope this has been helpful. Please share your takeaway. Um, let me know if this feels surprising or, you know, if you didn't realize these were potential risks of cortisone injections by commenting below. Um, if you have questions for me, leave them below and I'll meet you in the comments. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and you can get some free resources by joining my email community with the link below. Um, we have my top five uh, fascia release techniques for head to toe pain relief. Um, you can grab those by clicking the link below. All right, see you next time.